dreams get shattered once again. Looks like I'll not be owning a Chevy Astro all-wheel drive 4.3 van. I ended up taking the starter out and looking in there and sure enough the flex plate is damaged. Teeth are all screwed up on it. About half the teeth are missing. So that's exactly what happened. Uh, it did start a few times. Still had a little life left in it. This thing uh, sits low in these stupid running boards. Put it more towards this side and then had to do a little clearancing so it don't rub the tires. Because uh, if you go down the road, it, suspension of it will move. And even just towing it home, I was rubbing the tire a little bit on one side. So that's not good. So that's what happened. They had it at the shop, and the guy was just cranking it over. It made an awful noise. Didn't want to start starter was barely catching so they diagnosed it oh very windy very windy today sorry about that they diagnosed it it's a broken timing chain but that doesn't happen on these so, being the flex plate, flywheel, ring gear, whatever you want to call it, you got to take off the transmission to replace that. And in this, you got the transmission, you got a transfer case, you got dry shafts, you got a cross members. I mean, it's uh, not something that would be worth it really in this, unless you had a nice, comfortable. Lift to raise it up on. You can see, it got warm yesterday. Man, that wind is just blowing in. That speaker's got to be going crazy in you guys' ears. We'll calm down a little bit. You got a lift and you had the time and you really like this van. Yeah. Could it have been fixed? Oh, definitely. New ring gear on there. New starter. Still got some miles left in her. But, not for me. Just another broken dream. Take it in. Get it crushed. Woo! Get in from the wind there. Yep, still got the shades on. Light is uh, very sensitive. The eyes are very sensitive to the light. Sucks. I know, you don't care. Nobody cares. But hopefully, hopefully it gets better. Because, uh, I tell you what, I take things for granted. You wake up every day, see fine, but... Uh, man. And that thing is just... Stinging away. Sometimes are better than others. But, you know... What are you going to do? Stupid piece of metal stuck in your eye. You don't know about it. Helping somebody else out. Work on their rusty car. It's always, always how it happens. Never working on your own stuff that it happens. 
<clears throat> you always break your vehicle or whatever. Helping somebody else, but that's how life goes. It's all full of broken dreams. So, there you go. There's the sad story of me, my eye, and the Chevy Astro. That's a good, good title right there. <clears throat> so it's uh, warmed up yesterday. Everything started to melt. Got cold last night. Everything ice is over. So you walk outside, you fall down. Salt doesn't do anything. Man, more sad stories. Some of you might say, man, that, you know, wherever you live, that Chevy Astro might be gold, you know? You could, you would say, oh, I'll put that thing right together, fix her right up. But, you know, um, to me, if it was a starter, okay, two bolts and a couple wires. Got the, uh, I got the kitties cut off in the back seat, and uh, just like a typical fashion, they weren't the uh, really good ones that I thought, so um, I guess when you get back into, you know, 99, uh, maybe like 99 to 2000, 2001, those things had better really expensive ones but they're still decent but uh, I was able to read the codes on them cleaned them up scratched them up got the codes already sent them to my guy so I already know what I'm getting it's a decent little profit on the van but um, that's it oh we got uh gas biggest talk right now fuel how expensive is it well i know i gotta get some yep suck all my profits away oh another sad story life goes on Four nineteen. Regular. There you go. Nice, huh? Nice. Cops. Cops are over there. Dump your wallet out. Put it all in. to make a stop small iced coffee dreaming about spring days even though the sun's out still pretty cold bacon egg and cheese wraps Gotta love them. Quick snack. Keep it going. The old Astro van. That's it. It's, it's times are over. So, I got the nice die-hard red battery in the dually out of that. So that was a score. Also, with gas being so expensive, I sucked out 10 gallons out of that thing. 
got just over a half a tank, maybe about a half, depending the gap if the gauge was right, but. So dumped all that in the dually. That just drinks anything. So that was the score. It's, uh, well, it's over $40 at $4.19 a gallon. It's over $40 a gas. Then, uh, I'm going to keep the wheels and tires off of it for a few reasons. Number one, obviously they're aluminum, so, but on the bolt pattern on that Astro is the same as three vehicles in my yard that I own. The C10, the Suburban, and the Roadmaster, all a big GM five lug. So those will bolt on any of those vehicles. Not that they would really look good on any of them, but still you never know when you might run into a problem. And also the tires are pretty decent. And they're uh, actually the same size as the Roadmaster wagon has on it. So I figure, oh yeah. Got the hash browns. Got to get those. He's paying thirteen dollars a wheel with the tire on it down here. So for that price, if I seen those wheels and tires at a yard sale or someone had them for sale, I would uh, definitely buy them for that price. So I figure why not keep them? Nice to have around. You never know, if somebody needs them, they offer me the right money, they could buy them, but be stupid to uh, just let them go for that. So we'll keep those. Of course, we got the cats in here. Cash those in. Weight of the van, it's, uh, I think it's 150 a ton. Van weighs right around 5,000 pounds, it should be. I got a few things inside, but not too much. Been pretty slow as far as uh, junk car pickups, but I really can't complain because compared to other winters, it's... Uh, it's been pretty good. It was steady up till about a month ago, beginning of this month, February. So <clears throat> it lasted for a good while and then it slowed down. It's weird, there's been other winters where my car trailer doesn't even move, but I'm picking up all kinds of other scrap appliances, but this winter, I haven't gotten any really, a lot of calls for that kind of stuff, just cars, which is good. I'd rather do the cars. In the past couple of weeks, I've gotten a lot of calls for cars, but they just don't seem to pan out. The one I was really excited about, the lady, lady and her husband, I've gotten a few things off of them in the past two, three years now. Bought a few cars off of them, scrap, stuff like that. 
helped him out. But, uh, Guy with an empty car trailer pulling in here. Hope he doesn't come talk to me. No, nope, he's just parking. But yeah, the lady, uh, sent me a message there and um, said would you know I don't know what you're doing as far as buying junk cars right now but we got a Hyundai Santa Fe that I'm driving that got a cam phaser or something that's going bad is what she said but I'm gonna be getting a new car you know so we talked back and forth and um, she said oh my husband wants to know about what you pay for it, so I gave her a price. Didn't say nothing back. So I got back in touch with her like a day or two later, just to kind of follow up, because any Hyundai or Kia, which is the same company, pretty much, uh, those are very good very good I like those so I wanted to get it and uh, anyway I followed up on it and she said oh sorry uh, sorry I didn't get back to you but we just ended up trading it in and got the new car and everything so it's gone so I said well that's nice you know I go around I try to have common courtesy and you know, get back to people no matter what. And, uh, you know, some people don't think it's necessary, I guess. What are you going to do? A couple things fell through like that. I had one guy uh, call me on an 04 Cadillac DeVille. I was excited about that. He didn't like the price, which very I, I'm paying up right now because of uh, you know the price of stuff and being all the way up north there's not a lot of guys that do it but uh, you know like the guy with this van he said he couldn't find anyone else to come to uh, to come all the way up there and buy that thing for junk I was the only one so uh, I don't know what the deal is but that guy wasn't happy with that he said have a nice day and uh very surprising because I don't really get a lot of people that um, that refuse you know the price that I offer they're usually pretty happy with it you know I'm not looking to make a million dollars profit I'm just trying to uh, make a couple dollars to move on move on to the next little bit of profit but um, and another guy texts me and uh, he says you know Depending on how much you pay and how fast you can get them out of here. I got uh, a number of vehicles and scrap metal. And I said, well, depending on what they are, you know, and everything, then I can, you know, give you a price. And he says, oh, I got two, two or three Ford Tauruses with no cats. I got a Chevy truck that's stripped. There's nothing left on it. It's just the shell. And, uh... And then I got other vehicles around too. If if things go well with those ones, and I said, well, things aren't gonna go too well. I said, you know, uh, I said I I I hear you. What you got? I said I'd like to help you out. I said, but I don't I don't pay for incomplete cars. I only buy complete vehicles that have everything on them. So. Um, he said, well, you know, uh, the glass is smashed out, but I'll throw another engine in the back of the truck to make it wait. And I was like, you're not getting it. You're not understanding, you know, I'm trying to 
try to explain the best I can. I buy complete vehicles. A complete vehicle is, it has a battery, it has four wheels, it has a factory exhaust on it, it has an engine, a transmission, seats. That is a complete vehicle, you know? That's what I pay for. I do not buy worthless shells of scrap metal that are not worth my gas and time to uh, haul down. So, although I do remove them, you know, I mean, I don't really like to haul stuff like that that's just, you know, just scrap. I mean, but I do, to make people happy once in a while, I have to haul one, and, you know, don't make... Uh, don't make a good profit but at least make some gas money and move on to the next but I don't really like refusing vehicles it's not doesn't look good on your name you know but uh, anyway that guy was uh, he got pretty angry at me about that couldn't understand why and said uh, he said okay 10-4 bud have a nice one and I was like yeah you do the same I mean you know I don't know what to tell you Nobody's going to give you money for worthless scrap that there's no profit in, so move on to the next and get back to me. I had another guy, I thought uh, over the weekend I'd be going, he, he messaged me not too far from where I live, and he had a Chevy Equinox, which eh, it's okay, I'm not too excited about it, but it's a decent junk, you know, complete. He said, you know, the cats are on there, everything. But at first he wanted, he said, I want the two rear tires. And I was like, you know, I'm so tired of this. You know, people, they, they want tires back. They want wheels back. They want batteries back. It's like, no, I give a fair price. I buy a complete vehicle. I want everything in there. I don't care whether... You know, the battery's junk, the wheel, I don't care. I said, you know, it has to be complete because I, I know how I got to make my money and it all counts, you know, it all counts in the end. But, you know, I said, well, you know, the price I offered, it's going to have to have four wheels for me to pick it up. So I said, whether well, you got to go find, he said, well, what should I do? And I said, well, I said, you're going to have to find, you know, a couple of mini spares. I don't care what it is. You got to put something on there. So he looked. Uh, I didn't hear from him. A few days went by. So I touched base. I said, did you end up finding any tires? He said, no. So then uh, he ended up sending me a message back the next day. He said, listen, I've decided to let the tires go with the vehicle for that price. And uh, this weekend, I'm going to get it out of the backyard and uh, out of the snow for you and uh, have you come get it got the title here everything so uh, I'd never heard from him so that's just the way it's been it's I haven't done uh, I haven't picked up a lot this, this van you know I figured that I wasn't doing much I could uh, fix a couple things on it and uh, maybe make something out of it but seeing as that the converters might have been mega bucks I had to cut them off to get the code um, I even welded in I, I tacked in a pipe right where the right where the cats were and uh, I said well it still runs it still starts you know when it feels like it so I could still move it around the yard and uh, maybe take it somewhere and you know make a video or maybe somebody you know needs a cheap feeder or something like that or even just keep it around for the money it would bring in just scrap, I could cash the converters in and just, you know, still make my profit and keep it. But uh, I ended up taking the starter off. Like I said, I looked at the, the flex plate. You could see it was damaged. So me messing around and turning everything and, you know, stirring everything up, I, I bolted the starter back in. I could not get the thing to start once after that. Uh, I had my uh, big battery charger on it with the, you know, 225 amp start, and I was trying everything. And I ended up trying to start it so much that it just got to a point where it just, 
it, it, there was nothing. It wasn't even locking in. Um, so that was a pain in the ass because I wanted to get it started one last time so I could turn the thing around because it was facing in my garage. And to tow it, I got to winch it up from the front, you know, to tow it comfortably. So I ended up having to winch it out of the garage backwards and uh, onto the trailer and then turn around, unload it back into the garage. So I said, well, at this point, I guess I'll suck the gas out of it, do a few things like that. Took a few small parts off that might sell, you know, just little things, some switches, stuff like that. But uh, I noticed on the floor after I got it out, got it loaded up yesterday, ready to go to the yard. I was sweeping the floor and one of the starter bolts snapped right off from me messing it around and you know uh, I guess torquing it so much the starter you know it just I don't know it was weird but unless that was a bolt that was sitting up in there from something else I don't know but it was definitely a starter bolt uh, the threads the thread you know the end with the threads snapped right off so I'm wondering if that's what eventually happened and it kicked the starter sideways and but I didn't even bother to look under it at that point I mean it's just a broken dream it's it's getting scrapped and that's all there is to it you know you gotta move on to the next one Celebrate 
my other favorite place. Let's see what we got. Got napkins. Always got plenty of those. Crackers. Always got tons of crackers. Chili. Celebrate. More napkins. We got the honey mustard. The fries. Hot and crispy, guaranteed. Yeah, pretty good. No sandwich today. Switched it up. Got all nuggets for Rosie, but she's not here. Too early, too cold. She didn't want to get up out of bed come today. Not bad, it's only two o'clock in the afternoon. The gold. Too bright. The sun's too bright for me. good. They are good for me. Well, got there. Always a surprise. Not always, but I guess, uh, Caps went up, everything went up a little bit. But he quoted me on the cats over Messenger there, but when I got there, it's a good thing he was there himself because uh, he took a look at them and I guess one was a little different than he thought. So one of them was actually like $140 more than he had quoted me. He said, what do you think of that? And I said, I got no problem with that. So, that was a nice little surprise. Little Made a little more than I thought there. When we pulled in with that Astro van, we weighed 13,180 pounds because of Big Black. Big Black's heavy with that lift gate. So, we weighed out at 83.80, so the payout weight on that Astro was 4,800. Hmm. I thought it'd be a little heavier than that, seeing as that the curb weight said it was about 5,000, but that's what it said online. I did have a little bit of scrap in there, but... You know, it had no gas in it. It had no battery. I took all the wheels and tires, so there's some weight right there. So I guess you gotta figure that in, but. Three hundred and sixty bucks just for the weight. And uh, those cats, we're, we are making some profit on that, baby. Plus, I got 10 gallons of gas out of it. Got the battery out of it. Nice diehard. The other truck. Got the wheels and tires. 
good deal. Pretty good deal. It's going through the garage and uh, going through some stuff. I got that um, Dan Foss hydraulic winch, 15,000 pound. I said, you know, probably never going to do anything with it. It's kind of a cool piece. It's a military issue. Was a uh, guy was using it on old military Jeep willies. But uh, I had zero dollars into it. So I was just going to hold on to it to have. But uh, decided to put it online there on marketplace took some pictures and put it on there i already got one guy might want to meet up today so put it on there for 500 uh just a little end just a little motor was like uh, 300 bucks on ebay so i figured it's the whole winch you know but whatever it is pure profit the chili i don't know doesn't appear to be to my liking. It's barely, barely warm, and it's very thick. And uh, just like everything else in the in the country, I guess they're uh, they're ripping you off because I got about three quarters of a cup of chili. I got three quarters of a uh, grape Fanta. The fries weren't exactly overflowing. So that's the way it is. It's gonna shorten, shorten everything. What are you going to do? Man, my eye burned all the way down there. All the way down the interstate. I had to pull over a couple times. I thought, man, I hope it doesn't do this all day. Yesterday it was fine. I was outside doing stuff. In the garage, no problem. But, I don't know, the first part of today was real bad. It's real irritating and stinging, watery. Maybe there's something still in there. I hate to have to go back there. That was just torture chamber. That lady trying to scrape away. But, on the same note, I don't want to live with that. But now, it's not so bad. Like I said, the sun is too bright for it. So, there you go. Move on to the next one. The white whale didn't stick around for long. Too bad. Another sad story. The shop told him broken time and chain, but was it really any better to tell him it needed a, a ring gear flex plate? Still would have been a hefty bill either way to do that. Would they have gone for it? Maybe, depending on what the guy would charge. But, you know, if you got a lift, some air tools and stuff, it's not so bad. A couple of those long jack stands. 
move that transmission back just enough to reach up in and get those bolts put your new one in slap it back together either way you got to take off dry shafts and pretty sure you'd have to uh, take off the transfer keys because it'd be too much too much weight and length but maybe you could do it if you had a couple of guys a couple of stands you could probably do it leaving it together but I don't know Seemed like somebody, well, seemed like the people, you know, kept up on it, or they tried to anyway. It had 170,000 on it. it. Did run good when it started. Looked like it had new, um, new wheel bearings and brakes and stuff in the front. Once I took the wheels off, I noticed that uh, it had a had a brand spake new alternator in it, but so hard to get at I just didn't feel like uh, taking it out had a brand spanking new blower motor in it that I did take out because I'm hoping that I can use that for the Roadmaster right from Napa too expensive so I found another guy on there up here kind of close to where I go to bring the cars and uh, he's advertising he wants to buy all the electronic pieces from the car, like all the switches, headlight switch, power window switches, power seat, the ECMs, the radios, the temperature controls, the dash clusters. I, he wants to buy them all. Um, by the pound, he pays. Some he pays more than others certain vehicles but I don't know exactly why there's got to be something not sure if he's selling them for what they are because he doesn't care if they're broken or anything like that a bone in there So I'm not sure if there's some kind of uh, salvage value in the uh, stuff that's inside the switches, maybe. Maybe there's gold in there. I don't know. Silver or something. I know, like, computer parts and stuff. Circuit boards, you know, they have gold in them. But I'm not sure about the stuff in the car. So I had a day to mess around and... I ended up uh, pulling all that stuff out of there, put it in a box. So next few vehicles, I'll save them up, go meet up with them, see, see what it's all about. And that's it. Enough babbling on.